Howdy. I'm going to talk about how de to determine the type of oil your car needs and the importance behind it. I'm going to start with the importance. Um, the main portion of your motor is lubricated by your engine oil. All of the machining parts are the moving machine parts. If you don't have proper lubrication, you're going to have breakdown. You're going to have trauma to any kind of metal on metal surface. You're going to have um, debris that's going to contaminate other portions. You're going to have seals broken. It's going to be catastrophic. You know, dominoes flowing down the way. Um, so to determine your oil, if you know the make, model, and year of your car, you can Google it. Just I have a 2007 Honda CRV. What oil does it take? It usually pops up. It's usually correct because a lot of the owner's manuals and handbooks for your cars are online nowadays for the newer cars. Um, you can also call AutoZone. I don't particularly trust them all that much because I've been given the wrong information before without fact checking it. Uh, the other thing you can do is go to your driver's side door. You open the door and there's going to be an insulated seal. It's going to be a band of metal. It's either right along the driver's seat or along this the space of the door you know the space that provides the insulation and um the protective paneling of your door is usually a plaque a lot of times it's white or it's silver and it's been welded or riveted on um it's going to have your make model and year and it's going to have your VIN number and it's also going to tell you what type of oil your car takes uh the standard for a honda is going to be a 5w20 5w30 so you know the number but what does it mean go to the auto store walmart wherever and you go down the motor oil aisle start looking for the numbers anything that has the two sets of two digit numbers separated by a dash and the first one having a w that w stands for winter weight what temperature can your car sit and that oil sit at while properly lubricating your engine the lowest that i've seen is zero w that tends to be if you're going to be in an extremely cold environment snow um ice freezing temperatures um the warmer it gets you can go up to 15 w it's just whatever is the ambient temperature that your car starts in that's your outside temperature the second set of numbers is your operating temperature rating um that's the level that the oil stays liquid but maintains its viscosity the viscosity is the weight and thickness of the oil um, the smaller your car is, three cylinder, four cylinder, things like that, you're going to have a smaller second set of numbers. Um, because there's smaller engines, fewer pistons, there's not as much heat produced. The numbers tend to go up with the increase in the size of the engine and the car. So the oil you have for a V12 Corvette is not going to be the same for a four cylinder Corolla. After you know your numbers, and now you understand latter part is how hot it is when it's perfectly operating. The other number is with the W, how well it's going to act when it's cold outside or whatever the temperature is going to be. You need to take into consideration the type of oil. It can be regular, it can be blended, synthetic, hybrid, or like a blended mix with synthetic hybrid or standard straight synthetic. The first one, newer cars, you don't really have to worry about it. Just get the numbers right. The type's fine. Um, as you get more miles or you specify or make uh, modifications or it's a specialty turbo uh, supercharged car, you're going to move towards a blended one or mixed. The last is fully synthetic. Some manufacturers, like car manufacturers, require you to have fully synthetic straight out the box. Like you get the car off the dealer and they want you to have straight synthetic. Always follow manufacturer's instructions. Um, but if you have an older car, like a 15 year old Mazda or anything like that, you're going to lean towards fully synthetic because as the car ages, the machine parts always tend to, to misshape and warp. Fully synthetic holds, it holds up to the imperfections that are in the engine and it maintains that viscosity and the weight that is needed to fully lubricate without causing any more damage. Um, this is the number one thing that you should know because if anything were to happen, always know what oil you have if there's an accident i can fill it up something happens to your car you know how to fill it up and it's also the biggest mistake to pay for if you ever have to go to the dealer or the mechanic